Hey, welcome to Mortgage Minute for Thursday, July 8th. Again, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at headlines and show how headlines can be confusing. The word I'm going to use today is statistics. How can you use statistics to prove a point? And that's the important thing for you listening to this is that any, anybody, if I want to prove a point to you, I'm going to say, oh, statistically speaking, I can throw some statistics. And the challenge is when you read in the headlines in the newspapers, they use stats to prove the point. So whatever story they want you to buy into or they're selling on that particular day, they're going to have stats. Here, um, house prices are increasing, same day. Real estate market will slow. Interesting, when you re read behind the headlines, You'll notice that it says uh, house prices are increasing, e hefty year-over-year -year increases in the second quarter, according to Royal LePage. And over here, it's home buyers can expect more choice and lower prices in the second half of 2010. And here's the difference. If you take year-over-year, -year, well, think about it. 2008 was the peak, 2009 was the valley, and now we're back into 2010. So if I wanted to convince you that home prices are increasing, I just compare 2010 to 2009, of course, it's going to seem higher. But if I want to convince you that the market's slowing down and that we're on the burst of a bubble and the prices are going to drop, I'll go month over month and do a month over month comparison. So mark my words, in the July and August, prices are going to drop, volume's going to slow down. Of course, why? People are on holidays. Hello, it's July and August. It doesn't, be careful. If you read a newspaper in August and they do a July month to month comparison July to May, well, hello, of course, it's going to show very, very poor performance numbers. So don't buy into the hype and read behind the headlines. That's my advice for you today, the Mortgage Minute. Be careful what you read and be careful what stats you're listening to and always ask what's really behind the statistic. What story are they trying to convince you about? And uh, make sure you get the right information and hope you're enjoying the heat wherever you are. That's July 8th, the Mortgage Minute. Remember, follow us on uh, my Twitter account at PeterKinch.com. Thanks.